So Elden Ring dropped, and now it seems we've got a new wave of people who are new to the Souls-like genre, backtracking its origins back to Berserk, which is the primary inspiration for the whole Souls series, and, well, they are not happy. Yep, a bunch of blue-haired, glass bones, and tissue-papered skin art school students with their pronouns in their bios hopped in their time machines to go back and be offended by a manga that's over 30 years old. The kids that grew up sheltered from the world and all its horrors, only being allowed to watch Lazy Town and iCarly growing up, have now discovered Berserk, and are calling it names like misogynistic and bad, and even going as far to say that Miura deserved to die for making it. Which is hilarious to me because these self-righteous grandstanding shit stains are perfectly fine with dragging a beloved dead man's name through the mud because he created something that offended them, but misogyny in a manga is where they draw the line. The logic in that is truly beyond me. But let's get into this. So I'm not gonna break down every bin piece of berserk to dissect this shit show. I'm really just gonna explain something real quick, okay? Not every aspect of art is meant to entertain you. And I think that's what a lot of people are misunderstanding here. Sometimes art is meant to horrify you, disgust you, dare I say, offend you even, pull you into its world by taking you into its dreadful corners. That's what Berserk does so well. It's a brutal fantasy world. It's a fantasy yet so realistic in a way. Newsflash, the world isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Not everything is meant to make you feel happy, fuzzy, and warm inside. You seeing Casca get ripped isn't meant to entertain you. It's meant to disturb you. It's meant to make you feel for her, feel for guts, feel his hatred, feel what drives him to pursue this journey for revenge. What Miara does so well is he captures true unhinged pure evil so well because that's what it is this is what happens in a brutal lawless land riddled with sinister minds and malevolent creatures and it's not like women are the only ones facing horrible fates in berserk either but people like this like to cherry pick and create false narratives and take any chance they can get to grandstand they'll highlight one part and ignore everything else just to prove their imaginary little point these are the same types of people who would say, oh, the UFC is too violent, it's not a real sport, it should be banned. Because if they don't like or want something, that means nobody can like or want it. If they think it's wrong or if it offends them, this means nobody should be allowed to have it. Because they've been spoiled and coddled their whole lives and they think their opinion should speak for everybody. And that the entire world just revolves around them. They've run on emotions, not logic. Anyways, back to Berserk. In a real lawless world, whoever has strength and physical dominance over others will typically take advantage of the weaker people in whatever way they wish. That's the harsh reality of our animalistic nature. We've seen this play out many times. And although the main character Guts himself was shown being ripped as a child, which everybody likes to completely glide over and say sick shit only happens to women in Berserk, they wish to completely just ignore this reality women and children on average have no physical dominance over a grown man or in the case of berserk demons as well this means you're more likely to see them face particularly brutal fates simply due to the fact that they can't put up the same fight as a grown-ass man with a big-ass sword could in this world loads of men are brutalized and slaughtered in horrific ways throughout the series as well but you're definitely less likely to see one be ripped as you would a woman character because it's portraying the sadistic primal nature being displayed by these male characters and demons the potent malevolence at hand oh and male characters who are antagonists in the series by the way they're not being glorified we want to see these people die that's the fucking point it's shown to make you understand that this world is brutal and unforgiving a lot like the world we live in it's unfair good people face horrible fates sometimes the bad people get away but no matter what some of these characters face outside of dying it shows that they can overcome they keep fighting, they endure, and press on, because that's all you can do. You could ball up and let the world eat you alive, or you could pick up the pieces and carry on fighting. You can become the victim to your situation, 
or you can pick yourself up and keep on fighting. It shows you the strength of these men and women, these people, because what they are doesn't matter. They're people. Guts as a boy was sold off by his own guardian figure to a man to have his way with him. Little Guts didn't just crumble and give up after this. He picked his sword up and got revenge. That's what this is about. It shows you that you can overcome whatever happens to you. If it happened, it happened. It's done. All you can do is move forward from that. It didn't make Guts weak. He didn't just become a victim to it. He became the fucking Black Swordsman, baby! That's what this shit is about. And I like how Miura depicts true evil. I don't condone the actions of these characters. I don't think any sane person who likes Berserk condones their actions. But it's interesting to see a demon be a demon. If you're creating a demon in a story, as soon as you start humanizing it and giving it morals, you've already sold its aspect of true evil away to spare the audience. It's no longer pure evil. So Miura said, fuck that, this demon is a demon. It's gonna do what disturbs you. Its purpose is to reign terror and disrupt, make you feel its threat get under your skin it's not sparing women children or men it's a fucking demon that's what he's depicting here a beast whose only purpose is evil he's showing you what true sinister evil looks like and in turn this world feels so real you fear for the fate of these characters you've grown to love when casca is fighting off a group of men you want her to win so bad because you know what could happen if she doesn't there's urgency when Guts is fighting off demons, trolls, or whatever beast may be in the way of his sword, and he's accompanied by a female character, you want him to win. You want him to win so bad because he can't afford to lose. You know the fate that could await these characters. That's fear. That's an understanding of real evil. The threat is real. These people are too used to PG-13 demons and these censored little depictions of what evil is. No. This is what true, unhinged, psychotic evil looks like. Murder, rape, torture, all of it. This is what it encompasses. Miura didn't shy away from that. Because you don't want to see these beasts have their way with these characters. You don't want to see these people be eaten, brutalized, raped, dismembered, etc. It's got nothing to do with aiming at women. It's not aiming for fetishizing the rape and murder of women. It's aiming at depicting a real, brutal, unforgiving world. A seemingly hopeless landscape where all they can do is try to survive. You're watching these people fight tooth and nail like animals to keep their lips above the waterline in a sea full of demons and annihilation. Berserk has millions of fans. It's changed the lives of millions of men and women all around the world. It's powerful, it's raw, it's real. And it's not for everybody. And that's okay. It's for the calloused. It's for those who understand the nature of a truly unforgiving world. It's depicting a fantasy world so close to reality. I wouldn't expect a bunch of self-aggrandizing crybabies on Twitter to be able to relate to these characters. The term suck it up and carry on is completely foreign to them. These people are mentally feeble and can't see an inch past their emotions. They're ready to cancel something the moment it makes them feel any sort of negative way. And that's all it is, man. What would really be misogynistic is if they spared women from any sort of hardships and never even gave them the chance to overcome any adversity. Why can't female characters participate in this brutal fantasy world? How is excluding them and loading them up with an unequal amount of invisible protection not misogynistic? I don't know man, this is just what happens when you raise kids to believe the whole world and everything in it is sweet and bubbly. Go read Daily Butterfly at Weenie Hut Jr. and shut the f*** up. <laughs> Look, I discovered Berserk when I was in middle school and it instantly took me. It hit me close. I'd walk outside and I'd see violence, envy, poor souls dealt shitty decks and stuck suffering with the consequences of simply having bad luck. Seeing the bad people get by and the good people get stepped on, poverty, pain and just suffering all around me. But all I could do was carry on and not become a victim to the world. Learn how to suffer and press through whatever hardships come my way. We don't have time to bitch and moan and complain about it. How you feel doesn't matter. Keep your chin up and steer the fucking ship. Because if you don't, then who will? So when I discovered Berserk, I felt it.
It was so close to me. I think it's a true masterpiece and its impact on the culture and its readers show how truly powerful and touching this story and its characters are. And I see tons of people share the same sentiment. So thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. I'm curious to see what y'all's takes are. How do you feel about Berserk? How do you come across it? Has it had any impact on you? Let me know. Okay, well, I just wanted to rant a little and get that shit off my chest. So uh, thanks for your time, guys. Peace.